Hey YouTube, 3D Printed Life here with the Eclipse 3D once again. This time, it is actually Core XY. If you take a look under here, hmm, you can see I did a little makeshift um, securing of this second side of the belt to the, gear, the uh, extruder carriage. Um, and for Core XY, you have to uh, attach both parts of the belt to the carriage, which I didn't do before, which uh, explained why the gantry wasn't stable, but now, the only give here, the only little bit of give, is because the belt is loose and because these plates are plastic instead of aluminum. But once those change up, it should be perfectly rigid. It's already very rigid right now, much more rigid than the 3-up gantry. So, cool stuff. So, I'm just going to run a little test of a few shapes. Uh, first, I have to connect it. I'm going to start off at 100 millimeters a second and then work my way up. So, let's get this going. Actually, let's start it at 50. All right, so this is going at 50 millimeters per second and 100 millimeters per second travel speed. As you can tell, it's quiet as hell. Now, the final printer. I just wanted to hear uh, you to hear the squares because that was a problem on the 3-up because of the uh, three, uh, blah, 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 H bot setup. Super quiet, but uh, it may get quieter, it may get louder with the final version because I'm still missing the metal plates uh, and I'm still missing the vibration dampening material, so they'll probably offset each other, um, but they may not, so I don't know, we'll see. Um, plus there's only bushings in half of this piece uh, because they didn't line up exactly, you, can, uh, you can't really tell. Uh, the holes were a little bit too close together. Just a tiny bit. Alright, so let's step this up to 100. 100. So this is 100 millimeters printing, 200 travel. This is probably closer, well, this is closer to a higher quality print speed. Uh, this thing's going to be fast as hell, so you could probably do pretty high quality prints at 100 millimeters per second. And you'll notice that there's just a tiny bit of that motor whine um, on travel on travel moves uh, when they're a little bit further, but not really bad at all. And again, straight lines are still very smooth. And everything is just holding up really well, so let's bump it up to 200 and 400. 200 printing, 400 travel. So now you definitely start to hear it a little bit more, but it's going faster than you're ever going to be printing. Um, fastest printing speed would be infill at uh, probably about 180 or 200. I think that's about the, the limit for the E3D when you're printing at 0.25 millimeter layer heights. Um, <clears throat> but you also have to keep in mind that acceleration is a factor, so it might not even be reaching that full speed in the majority of moves. It's definitely not an infill, uh, the honeycomb infill. It probably is on perimeters. Like, that is reaching the full speed. But infill, it's really not. Um, and if it does start binding up, that's just because these bushings, um, again, the holes are bigger than they should be, so they can... Oops, I just held it. Uh, so the bushings occasionally pop out. Um, that's just temporary for testing purposes. They'll be tighter in the final version, of course. So, let's go for broke. 300, 600. And hopefully it doesn't actually break it. <laughs> Crazy fast. So now you can pretty much see that the uh, the travel speeds are maxing out because of acceleration. If the travel was further, it would be able to do it. So actually, we're going to stop this now and do some uh, quick little travel tests. So let's just go. So what I'm doing is I'm just shutting off the motors. I'm going to move this to home. I'm going to do a quick G92. Hold on a second. Uh, G92X0Y0Z0. In case you care, basically just telling you that it's at the zero position. Now we're going to go G1, uh, X200, Y200, uh, F50,000, which should max it out at about 500 millimeters a second. Pretty fast. And if we come back. Cool. 
Uh, and now we're going to go up a little bit. And I'm just going to show you. Oops, I want to go Y. Y100. Let's go slower. Still quiet when it's slow, as expected. Uh, now you can sort of watch the. Let me see if I can hold this here. I want you to see if you can uh, see the gantry shifting at all when the X changes directions. So let's give this a shot, and hopefully I don't drop my camera. Actually, let me put the strap on in case I do. All right, so we're gonna go G1, X200, uh, let's go 150. 150. Now let's go back. So yeah, as you can see, let's go back to home. No shifting. Awesome sweetness. Um, so yeah, uh, this is making me very confident in my uh, previous claims that I'm trying to go for Ultimaker level uh, quietness and speed and accuracy and print quality. Um, <laughs> And honestly, right now, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's uh, that's what this thing can do. Um, it's looking really promising, and I still have a lot of work to, to do on it, so um, still going to be a lot of improvements made. And obviously, I have to finish the printer, because it's right now an XY gantry uh, that's like not even totally complete. But yeah, so there will be plenty more real-life updates coming out soon, uh, especially once I start getting those metal parts in. Uh, so that's pretty much it. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you liked it, leave a like and comments and subscribe and stuff. I'll catch you all later. Bye.